comes a time in every gaming franchise's lifespan when they expand into the realm of handheld systems, experimenting with new ideas on less powerful hardware. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 handheld spin-off games. I'm counting on you. Sir! For this list, we're glancing at the finest examples of franchise-linked games released for handhelds from all the corners of the medium's history. Whatever their size, focus, or degree of innovation, these titles prove the power of both established series and handheld consoles, with more than a little room for shaking up convention. Isn't it a little premature to call down the wrath of God? Hmm. Number 10. Daxter. All right, everything with more than two legs start trembling, cause the Daxtonator is in the building. To anyone who wanted to be an otter weasel crossbreed creature, the wait is now over. Eh, there must be one of you, right? Set before the events of Jack 2, Daxter deals with its titular Otzel hero getting caught up in a search for his friend, and also some extermination work. To that end, players gain access to a healthy inventory of weapons such as a bug swatter, a jetpack, and a flamethrower to deal with foes. It's experimental. Experimental? Ooh. Combined with Daxter's own climbing and traversal abilities, you're granted plenty of ways to progress from area to area. Looks like the express exit for the Daxtonator! It's a fun mix of fighting and platforming, even before the film-inspired dream sequences come into play. Who was up for that part? <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, ladies! Number 9, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII. Zack, focus. Between this, Tactics Advance, and Dissidia Final Fantasy, there certainly was no lack of quality Final Fantasy spin-offs. I won't sleep well tonight. Here, players are put in the role of Zack Fair, a young recruit of soldier caught up in the hunt for a traitor, which soon gives way to much darker proceedings. The planet has become my guardian. Crisis Core manages to effortlessly set up the events of its successor, Final Fantasy VII, while also delivering on powerful character and story moments of its own. I was on my way to Modeoheim, but I heard you were in the area. Lucky me. And its deviation from the traditional turn-based combat of Final Fantasy proper, in favor of real-time combat with a slot machine like Modifier, ensures that there's never a dull moment, or battle. Oh yeah, conflict resolved. Number 8, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. Though we enjoy Chinatown Wars, the thought of having a fully 3D Grand Theft Auto just like on the PS2 in the palm of your hands seemed too good to be true in 2005, hence why we're going with Liberty City Stories. You're always saying the obvious. I can't believe I'm surrounded by people like you. Sorry. Acting as something of an expansion to the setting of Grand Theft Auto 3, this PSP title follows Tony Cipriani, a hitman returning to work for the Salvatore crime family. So help me, I'm gonna have some fun today, even if it kills you. Liberty City Stories takes time to make nods to character relationships from GTA 3, but still manages to tell its own tale of conflict in the criminal underworld. I tell you, even in my own family, I feel like Jesus, surrounded by 12 Judases. Plus, the incorporation of elements from the later games, such as motorcycles and changing of clothes, helped this installment feel up to date. Tony, honey, I had a great time today. Maybe you can drop by later and we can have some more fun. See you later, handsome. Number 7, Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins. Something old, something new, something borrowed, and not a hint of blue. Super Mario Land 2 pits the beloved plumber in a battle against the debuting villain Wario, whose henchmen have taken over Mario's castle. Thus, Mario's quest takes him through a number of zones, which are organized by way of an overworld map inspired by Super Mario Bros. 3. The entire game nicely translates the console games' fantasy-based side-scrolling onto the Game Boy, with new additions like the magic carrot power-up keeping play entertaining. After all, who isn't amused by the sight of Mario in a bunny costume? Number 6, Hitman Go. Talk about a change from the norm. This turn-based puzzle game maintains the same core objectives as other Hitman games, assassinate targets in a stealthy manner, but is controlled by way of touchscreen commands on a grid-like board. However, with its increasingly complex level design, rising competency of enemies, and added concerns like keys and trap doors, Hitman Go proves itself to be very committed to the series' legacy. 
Given the creation of its spiritual successor, Lara Croft Go, we feel like this definitely worked out. Number 5. Metroid Fusion Released for the Game Boy Advance, this entry into the Metroid franchise walks a fine line between honoring a legacy and charting new territory. Fusion is a direct sequel to Super Metroid, with bounty hunter Samus Aran's latest mission being to investigate a laboratory besieged by mysterious parasites. The game deviates somewhat from the open-ended nature of past installments in favor of a more linear design, but this makes room for intriguing character moments and the theme of experimentation gone awry. Fusion also keeps its action platformer roots in mind, matching intense atmosphere with hidden weapons and an embrace of explorative thinking. Number 4. God of War Chains of Olympus Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. Once more, the Ghost of Sparta sets forth in the name of vengeance. Kratos knew that for him, this was merely the beginning. Chains of Olympus reunites the player with the haunted Spartan warrior Kratos, having been sent to deal with the dream god Morpheus. The power of Morpheus affected even Kratos, as he was haunted by a strange melody. The patented blend of hack-and-slash action, careful platforming, and challenging puzzles expected of the God of War games thrives here, married to a story dealing with loss and sacrifice. The gods have broken their word to me many times. Forgive me if I find it hard to believe your promises. If that's not enough to make this spin-off interesting, there's always the five trial, challenge of Hades, and unlockable rewards for play. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. Number 3. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow Following the success of Symphony of the Night, Konami went all out to produce a string of Metroidvania titles for Nintendo's handheld systems, with their finest work being the adventure of Soma Cruz. Aria of Sorrow's main draw is the ability to absorb the souls of enemies at random to unlock new abilities and weapons, meaning that no two playthroughs could end up unfolding the same way. Aria of Sorrow isn't just a great Castlevania title, it's among the best in the series, and it took the top spot in our Top 10 Game Boy Advanced Games list. Number 2. The Legend of Zelda – A Link Between Worlds While the Game Boy title Link's Awakening is justified in its legacy, it's this 3DS game that feels like more of an embodiment of the franchise. A Link Between Worlds was built to honor its predecessor, A Link to the Past, from being set in that game's version of Hyrule to expanding on the concept of parallel worlds. Yet, its new wall-merging mechanic makes for some intriguing environmental puzzles, and features such as rented items and non-linear dungeon order add unique quirks to the Zelda formula. Hmm? It kept the series tropes in mind while subverting or toying with them in really fun ways. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Come on, let's move. Now we're having fun. If you say so. Watch that one. Number one, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Freeze. Peace unifies all things and makes for a great game. Talk. Peace Walker picks up 10 years after the events of Snake Eater, with famed soldier Naked Snake investigating suspicious CIA operations in Cuba. Is that chess? Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used. You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. This leads to an emotionally wrought tale of betrayal and struggle for peace, driven primarily by Snake's desire for answers. You're imagining things. However, the greatest strength of Peace Walker may be its breadth of content. It packs in main and side ops missions, base expansion, recruit management, and even mech construction. Factor in refinements of the series' stealth and combat mechanics, and you have a PSP title for the ages. 
then, when you realize that almost all of the stuff that made Metal Gear Solid 5 so amazing, like Fulton Extraction and Base Management, all debuted in Peace Walker, you'll probably understand how revolutionary it was. You got it, boss. Uh, Snake is fine. What's that? Do you agree with our list? After what you did, you're like a son to me. What's your favorite handheld spin-off game? For more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I gotta go, Tuts. Talk to you later. I mean, uh, over and out. I mean, 10-4 or whatever.